We will just get to it. Now, step one of a gator show. We need a gator. Uh, I'm going to go over here in this pile and grab one out. All these gators hanging out, catch some sun. I'll go there by the tail and kind of slide it back over this way uh, so you can see it better, and then we'll go from there. So give me a second. Now just grab this one with its tail sticking out. All right, buddy. This one is about nine and a half feet, 250 pounds. All right, buddy, come on. Your friend's, your friend's tail smushing your head anyway. And as I bring this gator backwards, you can see, you can see just how thrilled it is to do the show. <laughs> you can see that enthusiasm right there. That's perfect. All right, good. Now, next thing. Oh, here we I need to get on the gator. <laughs> and I'm actually going to go from the front, and that probably sounds kind of weird because where the teeth are, but alligators do not see very well in front of them. They have lateral vision. They see off to the sides. So I can go to the front of the alligator where it can't see very well. You sound like you can see it very well. <laughs> he put his head there. Okay. But I go to the front, oh my God. go underneath, and just bring the head up. Holy smokes. Nice and slowly. Holy smokes. Eyes covered. Just you're good. Now, gentlemen, pay attention. Guys, this is for you. Guys, when you have the jaws of the alligator secured, always hold that head just like this. Okay? Don't ever hold the head like this. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I think we know why. Just a little tip of the day. Yeah. Eyes covered. Swing around. Just gently settle on the gator. Very simple. Who's next? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. A bunch of crazy kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, joking aside, after the show, if you're interested, you'll have a chance to hold a gator. And it's up to you, but we bring one on the back. If you do hold it and you take pictures, it is a $5 donation to the rescue, so it's up to you if you want to hold it. It's just it'll come out after the show. Now, I know what you're thinking, or most of you are probably thinking, that was too easy. This gator's not moving at all. It's not trying to bite you. you got gators around you. They're not coming after you either. People are surprised. They're kind of confused on the fact that they're not trying to come after me and kill me. Well, listen, alligators are not what you think. You know, I know what you see on TV. I know what you hear, you know, through the media. Alligators are not these bloodthirsty man-eating creatures. They really aren't. They are very dangerous, but they are not, I mean, don't get me wrong there, they're very dangerous, but they're not very aggressive. There's a difference. Uh, attacks on people are very rare, and they don't eat people either. That is a huge myth. We are way too large of an item for an alligator to see as a food source. And honestly, these gators in here, they are used to this. You know, we do around 20 shows a day, seven days a week. The interaction is constant, and nothing we do hurts them. This is not painful whatsoever for the gators, which they're very conscious of, so they lose their fear. They don't see people as a threat. So when I walk in this gate and these gators see me, they're like, oh great, yo, this guy again. But, you know, he's not going to hurt me and I can't eat him. So why waste the energy? And that really is why you get this more relaxed, calm disposition out of these gators. That being said, in this pit there have been some pretty serious accidents. So it's still an alligator. You have to treat him that way uh, and treat him with a ton of respect at all times. Okay, so with that done, we're ready to start. And we are going to start with the business end. 80 teeth inside the mouth of an alligator, 40 in the top jaw, 40 in the bottom jaw. Now alligators go through a lot of teeth. They lose them very often and very easily, but they grow them back a few weeks later. They go through about 3,000 teeth in their lifetime, which is kind of cool. Now the jaws. The jaws of an alligator kind of work like a mouse trap. That's the best way to describe it. When the mouth is open, it stays open until or unless something touches the inside of it. I want to demonstrate. And I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to tap right here in the top jaw, the very edge of it. That tapping should cause the mouth to slam shut, and that'll give you a pretty good idea of just how powerful these jaws are. So watch this. Watch my finger. Oh, snap. Okay, still got it. It happens fast sometimes. So there it is. I mean, obviously that power is amazing. I mean, you can hear that. Alligators are known to have the strongest bite out of any animal in the world by far. 2,000 pounds of pressure coming down there. That is the weight of a car coming down on whatever's in its mouth. I mean, that's just scary. However, at this point, the alligator cannot open its mouth back up. Where do you think you're going? Oh, don't step on your friends. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, my Show goodness. some respect. All right. Now they're distracting, so I guess we'll just wait till it makes its move. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I guess if the other gator was smart, he'd probably just get out of the way, but he's just taking it. Okay, don't stop there. All right. That's... It's the most work that gator's done in months, so I guess it is pretty tired. But anyway, what I was saying, the jaw muscles of an alligator, they are used to close and crush, but not meant to open. The muscles that they use to open up back up are small and weak, and that is why one hand of pressure will keep an alligator's mouth shut. Now, that being said, this is a gator show, so we've got to do some crazy things now. It's pretty much why you're here anyway. And I would like to show you how to keep a gator's mouth shut with no hands. I'll show you one hand. This is no problem. 
Let's go no hands. Uh, if you have a camera, good time for cameras. Snap a photo as soon as my hands go off to the side. Uh, if this goes well, it's a good picture. Actually, if it doesn't go well, it's still a good picture, so whatever. Let's do one Okay, good. Step one complete. You are being a good boy, too. Now, step one complete. And that was pretty easy. Nothing too crazy or nuts about that. Uh, and I can tell by the complete lack of applause, you were very impressed anyway with what I was doing there. So, <laughs> wow. obviously, the emblem. Oh, I don't even think about it now. I don't want to hear anything. <laughs> That's okay, though. Well, that was a warm up. We'll move on to something a bit more exciting in a minute. But now it's time to go over the actual gator. Okay, and I'm going to start with the eyes. Now, the eyes of a gator are very well protected, they have really deep eye sockets. So, if anything goes to harm the eyes, watch this. They wow. sink. You see that? They disappear to their skull. Virtually nothing can harm the eyes of a gator. Ears. Let me show this side first. Right here. You see the flaps back there behind the eyes? Um, you can see it now. Alligators hear pretty well. They hear about as well as people do. So good hearing. Now the brain of a gator. Located behind the eyes in the middle. Alligator brain is about the size of a walnut. It is really small, which is kind of weird because they're huge animals. But do not let that fool you. You know, gators are smart. The way I like to explain it is... They have been here since dinosaurs. You know, 200 million years they've been on this earth. If you can make it that long here, you did something right. I mean, you know what you're doing. And a really cool fact, a lot of people don't know this either. Alligators can go over a year without eating. I mean, think about that for a minute. That's kind of crazy. No food for over a year. They survive off their tail. They actually store fat and nutrition from what they eat inside their tail. And that's kind of like they reserve. You know, during a drought or whatever the reason might be they're not eating, that tail keeps them alive. So, you know, you hear the facts, you hear the features. These are amazing animals. They really are, all the way around. But now we move on. And this next move I have for you this is probably why you're here. That's why most people come here, at least. Uh, let me ask you, have any of you ever seen the video clip where the guy opens the gator's mouth and actually sticks his head in there? You've seen that? If you've seen it, great, because you're not going to see it here. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure you've seen it before. That's pretty interesting stuff. But I do have something pretty similar. Uh, this is called a face-off. And this is called a face-off because if by chance I do mess up, face is it'll off. be pretty obvious, yes. <laughs> You'll know. But these things have to be done, so we'll do it. All right, glasses on. Also, this move right here, this will show you just exactly what a college degree in criminal justice will get you these days. <laughs> Very true fact. I joke my mom doesn't like too much, but... Oh, well, let's do this. Again, 80 teeth in there. They all hurt the same. Oh. All right, now we just cover the eyes back off the gator. Go ahead, buddy, and get out of here. And getting off the gator is the best part of the show for me. Probably for him, too. Uh, also, folks, last thing I want to show you in here with these, so thank you. Thanks for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the show, but more importantly, I just hope you learned something new, something different about these awesome animals. Uh, you know, please keep in mind, anything putting those baskets helps with the rescue. Small Gator is going to come out behind you. Give it a shot if you'd like. Any questions, I'll be in here. Stick around and ask, but if not, enjoy the rest of the beautiful day. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Uh, yeah, his, his, is it easy? 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 Is it easy